to have been drawn to JMMI. And you know, whether it's they see a miracle, they see um, something on TV, they see a testimony, and they're like, wow, like I sh there's something different about that ministry, I need to be a part of it. And so they go on Google, they type in JMMI, Apostle David E. Taylor, and they see all the persecution. They see the fake videos, they see people, confessions, they see all these different types of things, and they immediately, they're like, uh-oh, X out, close browser, forget about it. That's one of the biggest problems because why are you so scared of persecution? The Bible has so many verses where even Jesus says, they're going to hate you because they hated me. It says that all that live godly in Jesus Christ are going to be persecuted. Blessed are they that are persecuted. There's so many different scriptures that talk about persecution, yet we're so afraid of it. Why is that? It's because we care so much about being man pleasers that we neglect being a God pleaser. There's no surprise that if a ministry is following Jesus or, you know, doing the things in the Bible that Jesus did, there's going to be persecution. And if there's not, that should be a red flag because if you don't have persecution, that means the enemy isn't threatened by you. That means you're doing nothing to come against the kingdom of darkness. So why should he fight you? Then it goes into people persecuting like full-time ministry or people who want to do ministry as their job. And if you think about it, no one has a problem with someone who goes to work for 12 hours and then gets four more hours, you know, they're doing overtime. It's like, oh, you're, you're good, you're providing for your family, blah, blah, blah. But if they see people working hours for ministry, then it's a problem, then it's too much. Also, people are celebrated for going off to the military, rightly so, but then if people wanna go off to do full-time ministry, they're ostracized. If someone misses a family holiday because they're in college, it's expected because that's just what happens. But if they miss a family holiday because they're doing ministry or they're ha they have a church event or something, then it's a problem. There's The reason there's so much persecution going on is because the enemy is scared. The devil is scared. He hates what's going on in JMMI. He hates Apostle and he's going to do anything to attack him. And that's the thing people need to understand. Apostle doesn't care about the persecution. You know, the things people say about him, whatever, he doesn't care. The thing he cares about is that innocent people's souls are being snatched by Satan. If they listen to persecution, if they become deceived, if they listen to the lies that people tell them, because their souls are going to be lost. The devil isn't stupid. He knows how to get to people. He knows that some of you are going to see persecution by, you know, random people and you're not going to pay any attention to it because you don't know the people, blah, blah, blah. But he also knows that if he can get people close to you to start speaking evil to you, to start talking about the ministry, talking about apostle, your friends and family, if he can get them to whisper into your ear, then he knows he's onto something. Because so many people hold their family members or their friends' opinions so high that they will listen to anything that they say. So you could be in the ministry for years, experience all the miracles, and then all of a sudden your friend starts talking in your ear about, oh, well, this is why you should leave. This is, you know, you shouldn't be a part of that. Have you seen the things that are on the internet? Blah, blah, blah. People are so weak-minded that they will fall victim to anything because Satan will get into their minds, blind their minds, do all the stuff that Satan loves to do. So someone recently had a dream, and this is going to validate JMMI. It's going to validate what I'm talking about in this video because someone who is a part of the ministry, they, she had a dream of somebody else who's also in the ministry. And she had in that dream, um, she was being coerced by a family member, a friend to leave the ministry. And, you know, so the girl told the other girl the dream and she's like, wow, you know, she confirmed that it was true. She said, yes, this family member, this friend of mine has been trying to get me to leave the ministry. And so, you know, God is working with Apostle Taylor. He's coming to people in dreams. He's showing people the future of what's going to happen. If they're going to betray, if people are going to speak to them about leaving the ministry and all of them come to pass. And obviously God is working with Apostle and JMMI because he, why else would he warn people in advance if he didn't care, if he wasn't connected to the ministry? If God wasn't involved in the ministry, why would he go on behalf of Apostle Taylor? Why would he send people dreams, visions, all that to validate what's going on here? God is preserving people in dreams and in visions because face to face, this whole movement is about preservation. If you read Genesis, it says, I've seen God face to face and my life has been preserved. That's the whole purpose of this ministry is having that face to face relationship with Jesus, being preserved, going to heaven, all that. And so no wonder the enemy is going to try to attack that because it's everything he's against. Don't allow yourself to be deceived by people who are close to you, who are your friends and your family, the people that you trust, because they don't have your best interests at heart all the time. A lot of people will see things that are that look wrong and they will get deceived and they're going to try to deceive you. But you need to be strong, especially in this season, because where God is taking us right now, where God is taking the, the whole body of Christ, there's no room to listen to people's opinions. There's no room to listen to gossip and negativity. If God has showed you something, 
that's that's what's right. Don't listen to the second voice. Don't listen to, you know, God told Adam and Eve, don't eat off this tree. Second voice comes in, which was Satan as a snake, and he deceived her with the truth, mind you, and she ate the fruit. She listened to the second voice when God already spoke to her. Be cautious in the season. If people try to come against you with some negativity or whatever, come against them, correct them. For those of you who have seen this ministry and you've been interested and then you turned away because you saw the persecution, you saw the negativity, come back. God showed you that for a reason. He showed you the miracles. You, you might've seen the testimonies for a reason because he has called you to this movement. This is the end time move of God. Don't let the outside voices take you out. That being said, Call 1-877-843-4567. If you want any more information, visit joshuamediaministries.org. Learn for yourself. Do the research. Figure out yourself what God is saying and why he's calling you to this ministry.